But does the Minister appreciate that cities like mine in Leicester, or towns and boroughs like Burnley or Bolton or Batley and Blackburn, borne the brunt of this crisis these last 15 months? We've often been in lockdown longer than elsewhere. At times we felt abandoned, we didn't have adequate financial support, families did their best, but they struggled. So can the Minister understand how upsetting it is, can he understand how insulting it is to have new restrictions imposed upon us, local lockdowns by stealth, by the back door, and the Secretary of State doesn't even have the courtesy to come and tell us? Why was this guidance plonked on a website on Friday night and not communicated to everyone? Why were local directors of public health and local authority leaders not consulted? Why weren't MPs informed? And what does it now mean for our constituents? What does it mean for the family in Leicester who have booked a few days next week by the coast for school half term? Do they have to cancel that break? What does it mean for university students in Leicester when they finish their exams? Do they have to go home? Or can they go home? And can prospective students come and look at the campuses? What does it mean for the parents in Bolton who are planning to take their children to see grandparents on the other side of Greater Manchester this bank holiday Monday? Should they rearrange their plans? What does it mean for the young couple in Burnley or Blackburn or Batley who have postponed their wedding for over a year and have invited friends and family from across the country to come and celebrate their special day with them? Is the message to them that they have to delay their wedding again? Can the Minister answer these questions today? And can he take a message from me as the Member of Parliament for Leicester South back to the Secretary of State Withdraw this guidance now. Uh, in Bedford and Blackburn and Bolton and Burnley and Kirklees, Leicester, of course, his own patch, and in Hounslow and North Tyneside. Uh, the one thing I would urge, and I spoke to the Metro Mayors uh, this morning, the M10 Metro Mayors, is that we all work together and take the politics out of this. I think our constituents deserve that. Uh, essentially, as I said in my opening statement, uh, what we're asking people to do in those affected areas is to be cautious, is to be careful. So on visiting family that he asked about, you know, meet outside rather than inside where possible. Meeting indoors is still allowed uh, in a group of six or two households, but meeting outdoors is safer. Meet two metres apart from people you don't live with unless you have formed a support bubble. This includes obviously friends and family you don't uh, uh, live with. So yes, people can visit family uh, in half term if they follow social distancing guidelines. The guidelines include specific sections on meeting friends and family. Avoid travelling in and out of the affected areas, as the Prime Minister said on the 14th, unless it is essential, for example, for work purposes. Uh, the, 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 the whole principle here uh, Mr Speaker, is that we need to work together. He has a responsibility, as I do, as do the Metro Mayors, to communicate to our, our residents, our constituents, that this is a, a time to be vigilant, to be careful. We're putting more surge vaccination and, of course, uh, uh, surge testing and turbocharging vaccination, I should uh, uh, say, in those areas to make sure that we do do the work with local directors of public health. And absolutely, uh, I hope he will agree, we've had uh, that plan in place. We've seen it uh, operate in Bolton and Blackburn, and we'll see it operate in his constituency in other parts of the country as well.